My name is Nnamdeklo. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. That name that strikes fear into the heart of the Fulani Janjawi. When they hear IPOB, they start having nightmares. I lead that very movement. Movement of the children of light. And have we not brought enlightenment to all the people? This very movement that heaven ordained must free the whole of Nigeria. Everybody must be free. And that light, the same way that the sun rises from the east, that light is coming from the east. As always. I am the director of Radio Biafra and Biafra Television. God gave me another assignment this year, it seems. Not only to serve the wonderful people of Biafra, but also to serve the brave youth of Nigeria. And that is what I'm doing this evening. And we will continue to do until everybody is free. Until every corrupt condition is either in the grave, because they'll be hanged, or they are in prison. The difference between some of you and us is that we say something and we do it. If you keep muttering and bumbling, no things are bad, no oh, things are bad. Oh. Here we make our dreams become a reality. Not because we have any strength, not because we are better than any other person, but because Elohim to go to is on the floor. I am always speaking the truth. You may not like it, but it is the truth. We have come that we may do the bidding of the Most High for that which we are sent, or should I say born, in the first place. We are going to defend our land against the ravages of Fulani terrorism. We are going to defend the lives of our people against state-sponsored extrajudicial killings by the zoo and forces. We cannot allow what happened in Obi, Wattampo, in Aba, in Afaruku, in Emene to happen anymore. It can no longer happen in our land. Today, we are sending a note of warning, or should I say caution, to all those that delight in shedding the blood of their friends and innocent people right across the length and breadth of this zoological republic called Nigeria. That from this day onwards, any attempt to kill innocent people will be kindly reciprocated. Any attempt by the zoo army or the police to kill innocent populations, the same way they did in people, will be met in equal measure. In the coming days and weeks, you will see them in their uniforms. You will see them performing very critical and vital functions of ensuring the security of our land. I urge each and every one of you to give them your maximum cooperation. Starting from this very day, anywhere your friends are killed, any governor, any police commissioner who tolerates the massacre of innocent people will pay very dearly for it. Will pay very dearly for it. Will pay very, very dearly for it. Do not underestimate our resolve. Our bishop, just to show you the size of the men that are here. There are many and um, we are very happy that they responded to your call because most all of them show that there's something that they mean what they are saying. And so that's why I decided to cover this so that you can see them. Thank you very much. <laughs> We move together. 
We talk together, we eat together, we bath together, we sleep together, we walk together, we talk together, we walk together, we get together. Abba, here I am. Come on, here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Merele bago, merele bago, wakere wakata. Amar chame bago. Aku kezi nuko ho, humo anya diyeria. Hanya ba ni ba ni ba, hanya ba ni ba. Hamba ba ba ba, hamba ba ba ni diyeria. Merele, aba ayam. Merele merele, merele merele, merele bago. Merele bago, hokere wukama. Chame bago, kigiria. Aku kezi wukwe, humu anya diyeria. 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 Ah, merele. Ah, ayamba. Merele, merele. Merele, merele. Ah, merele. I am This is a resolution we have reached and it is cast in stone. The Eastern Security Network is here to bring to an end years of Fulani Miyeti Allah terrorism in our land. We must understand that years of torment has come to an end. We have decided not to weep anymore. We have decided not to cry anymore. We have decided not to complain anymore. We have decided not to petition anybody anymore. And any governor who foolishly sides with the zoo to inflict death, pain, and suffering upon our people will be held personally responsible, himself and his family. Himself and his family. And all of you that participated or encouraged the slaughter of the innocent at Obibo, you all will be held accountable at the right time. You cannot go free, including weekend. You cannot go free. I assure you, I'm saying it so that the world can hear. So that the day you meet your nemesis, they will know that I announced it live on air. If they want us to go to ICC, we go to ICC. Any court in the world, they want us to go to, we we'll go there. But we cannot go free. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. And the same goes for any other idiotic governor that may want to kill our people. It will no longer happen. In the coming days and weeks, people are going to come out to protest. This very Eastern Security Network will provide much needed security for protesters across Biafra land. I repeat, they will provide security for prote peaceful protesters across their land. Any idiot in uniform that wants to dare us, you are more than welcome to do so. But you will bear the brunt and the consequences will be very, very dare, I assure you. I assure you. Those of you that bore witness to what happened at Zakibiam, at Odi, Emene, Obibo, Isiama Farugu, in our bank, in an atom all, must know that we cannot allow such senseless state sponsored massacre of the innocent to continue. We can't allow it. We will never ever allow it. Therefore, I am placing the United Nations on notice the EU, British government, the US government that wherever the Nigerian army goes in again to massacre innocent people, we are going to retaliate. We will retaliate. Obibo will be the last time any sitting governor anywhere will give the order for innocent people to be killed. Should that happen again, that governor will die. I am saying it so you cut out this very clip and send it to the ICC so they can have it there with them. And all these criminals, all these murderers, we shall meet them there. Should the deed arise. You cannot go about killing innocent people and you expect them to do nothing. It is impossible. Absolutely impossible. It cannot happen. We 
we have come to die for what we believe in. We have come that we may be free.